three years passed, Dayin mustered all of its formidable military might and cut a bloody swath through neighboring Crimea in a sudden invasion. Dayin was defeated, however, and the dreams of its ruler, Mad King Ashnard, died with him. Ashnard's son, Peleus, possesses a gentle sincerity that is a bright counterpoint to his late father's violence and duplicity. Ill-suited though he seems for these troubled times, his presence is a welcome sight to Micaiah's eyes. Peleus, declared rightful heir to the throne, finds his name becoming a rallying cry for Dayin. At his side is the only person he believes can lead his liberation army, the silver-haired maiden. Free State of Marado inside the Kingdom of Time. Assembling is forbidden. All violators will be punished immediately. Assembling? We were just talking around the well. Silence! No excuses! Yeah. Can I really have just seen that? Lady Fiona, the self-proclaimed Liberation Army is on the march. Marado's army has been ordered to deploy with us. Understood, General. We will prepare immediately. But I need to address your soldier's conduct. A new war is afoot. You never answered Ashnard's call to arms in the last one. You have a reputation for ruling wisely. But don't endanger your people by hurling ugly accusations at my soldiers. I trust I needn't, needn't worry that you'll fail to answer the Empire's call. I will not lie to you. My people are proud citizens of Dine, and some agree with these so-called liberation liberators. However, I will not lead my people into danger over ridiculous rumors of some unknowing orphan prince. I'm glad to hear it. I need a volunteer. Follow that woman's every move. I trust her no farther than I can throw her. Die in liberation camp. Well, well, the rumors that my operators have started have spread like wildfire through all of time. Late King Ashnard's son surfaces, silver had made at Prince Pelia's side. Now that we have the people's attention, we snack their hearts. We'll just extol the savior, fan the rebellion, go to battle, and conquer the enemy in a blaze of glory. Do we have sufficient forces to rouse said rebellion and achieve victory? You'll let me worry about it. This highly sophisticated strategizing is beyond your young minds. Worry not, my prince. After painstaking investigations, I have determined that exact location to target. Gather round, all of you! Hear my plan for our next strike! If the Liberation Army attacks any of these places, we are assured of an absolute victory. Master for us always, Isuka. It's good to know you can count on you. First, we'll target Terrega. Its borders, the frontier. Binion sword is shaky. And there is an, uh, and resentment runs high. No, Terrega is no good. What? What was that? On what grounds are your decisions being questioned by this... THE CHILD! 
The timing is wrong. Because of the rains. We won't be able to advance well. Let alone fight. It's true. I am from Talrega, and I remember well the landslides and floods that come every spring. The mountain road leading to the particular work camp is notoriously dangerous. What? What? Impossible. My, my strategy is flawless, perfect, even. <sighs> I never. Mikaya, where do you think we should attack? Terran. We'll have better luck in Terran. Terran too lies in the mountains. But in the arid northern region, where the weather is predictable. Mikaya, you're amazing! I count my blessing to have you as general. You give me hope. Lady Mikaya, a few outsiders know of the landslides in Tarrega. Have you been there before? Mikaya is a powerful seer. When it, we in the Dawn Brigade owe our lives and our freedom to her abilities. Ah! Goodness, Isuka, what is it? She can foresee bad outcomes. Magnificent! Why didn't anybody tell me of this? This only makes the maiden that much more appealing. And let us just be honest here, my foresight in decreeing her channel was wonderful. Yeah, genius! Excellent! Well then, yes! All bow to the maiden's vision. Let's leave the camp and make for Terran! Yes, that's what I heard. What with that light and that silver? Could she... could she be the silver-haired maiden? Huh? Oh, it is! It is you! Ah, oh, am oh I? You're fighting with King Ashnod's son to free Tyne, aren't you? Oh, we've heard so much about you! Oh, what a blessing! What a blessing! We're all waiting. We're waiting for the day you free us from those filthy Binion pigs. Please, take this! It's not much, but people from all over the village pitched it. Oh no, I couldn't possible. Thank you, we appreciate your kindness. We're all counting on you, please free us! Looks like Isuka's propaganda is working fast. Mm. You didn't want me to take the money, did you? It's not that, it's just... Uh, never mind. Oh come on! What did I do this time? You're not going to say. Great. In that case, let's get out of here and go find the others. So, you're staying then. I appreciate your concern. However, I... You can't leave Prince Pelia's side. Is that not so? That's right. Then take this, at least. Ascending stone? Do you remember how to use one? Of course I remember how to use one. But it's such a precious gift. Are you sure about this? Thank you, Kurt. Kurt! Where are you? I must go now. Please, remain safe. You as well. Kurt? Mikaya, how nice to see you. Kurt, I'm leaving for Terran. I know this is sudden. To tell the truth, I am surprised too. I see. You are off to perform your first duty as a general of this Liberation Army. Yes. I abhor violence. I do not think you should fight. Kurt, I'm not fighting because I I know. I know you wish there were another way. And I understand that you feel this is what you must do to save your country. Yeah, take this. What is it? May it serve to protect you, Mikhaim. I must leave you now. I'm going home to my own country. What? So suddenly? I'm sorry, Mikhaim. Being so close to battle frightens me, to tell the truth. Thank you for rescuing me. 
and thank you for the short time we spent together. I enjoyed it immensely. Will I ever see you again? Who knows? Why don't we... Yes! Let's... Let us leave it up to the goddess. I suppose we must. A small troop approaches from the east. It appears to be the Dying Liberation Army. Blissfully ignorant of the trap that awaits them. I pity them, really. Have the first platoon assumed their battle positions? Shall we deploy too? Kind of you too, Alpha Lady Fiona, but the first platoon will suffice here. This is really none of Murado's business. I see. In that case, we'll use this opportunity to observe the Empire's army at work. Hey, together, Aaron the Black Dragon's back, and welcome all of you to another part of Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. So, we are in this battle now. So, we have a few more uh, important characters. Again, those three right here are important, as is Volok, I think I remember. Good. So, there's a problem for me with this mission. You have so many units now that... I would recommend not using it all. Volok is a little bit of an odd one here because with Sothe you could go to the items and unequip the crab and he's weaponless. So he's a meat shield and that's good for him. With Taroneo you can go unequip his weapon and he's an even better meat shield because he probably won't take damage. Siark goes the same thing for me. He is also pre evolved so unequip his weapon, meat shield. He's got a dodging certain attack, so you can use him as well. With Warlock, however, you cannot go and unequip his fangs. So... Try to not use him as much as the others. Try to let him, him or stay in the background and only place him in enemy range if 100% necessary. So, but other than that, the map is fairly self-explanatory. Let's... I should have bought another weapon for you, I just realized. That was probably stupid. So let's see. Um, should get rid of the arrest right here so they can see where you can go. I bought for Nolan another hand axe because his hand axe is going away. So let's place you up here. Make sure that the next weapon equipped is the steel axe, because if he moves first, let's see how that's gonna go. So we don't wanna have Eren in there too far. The reason for that is lances are weak against axes, so we don't wanna have him in there too far. We can use Chill, she is not pre-evolved, so Chill is a unit that is good to use in this map as well. Um, so I'm gonna stick around with Laura and Laura is gonna basically always have the little guard of the four people that I'm not gonna use. So they are always gonna stick around Laura so that she won't be attacked at any time. As for... oh, that's nice. Let's converse him. Iliana, you'd better not be pushing yourself too hard. Oh, hello. I'm so hungry. If you could spare some rations. Iliana and the rations. And Meg, I'm not gonna use her that much, totally honest. And yeah, only you are not moved, but whatever. I'm not gonna move you anyway. So, this is a rather interesting little map, because it is split into two parts. We are finding the first part right now, and after that we will move on to the next part of the whole map. So we are not done after this fight. But I'm gonna split it into two episodes still because otherwise it would be a little bit too long. And this is why I wanted to have the Steel Axe for him as the second weapon so that it deals a little bit more damage here. You could have dodged that however, Nolan. Close to the level up. 
Okay, and now Edward gets a little bit of action. Edward is worse at dodging than Nolan. And he even has the better weapon for dodging. Edward, you need to be faster on your footsies. Seriously. So this is where the annoyance comes in. They will have constant reinforcements. And the problem here is we have an archer. So I cannot just go down there and deal some damage. No, I actually have to think around and see how I do stuff. Wait. If I do that, I need to get rid of the archer. But if I do that... And say that I'm gonna kill you with my with my steel axe, with chill, poke. Because that now is really helpful, because chill has her own ability which allows her to move again after she moved and she cannot move that far. Okay, but she's safe, then I'm not concerned. That worked out. Uh, good enough, I'd say. Let's heal you up. I also bought a man for Laura, so that she has a stronger staff with her. Because that's helpful. You don't need the strength, but the defense, Laura! So let's go up there with Iliana. And use the thunder. And then we're gonna go and heal up Nolan because Nolan needs some health now. He took quite the beating up there. I'm gonna stick up there with Nolan a little bit because axes are normally rather good against armored guys. And yeah, you have an ha a hammer and I really wanna have that. So let's heal you up. Looking fine. I need to get rid of you, however, because you're right in the way. So let's shoot you. And then I'm gonna go... Yeah, I'm gonna go towards him with Edward and then I'm gonna have a lot of guys attack Edward. Probably not the best thing. Resistance, that's nice. So you can basically take... Yeah, your assistance is Garbo. But that's gonna be interesting now, is it? 2 times 10, 20. Okay, let's try to kill you instantly. Let's try to kill you with him in an instant. Don't dance around that too long. Because everything else could be potentially dangerous. And I also completely forgot that... The Pegasus Knights are now up there as well, so I need to look for them as well. You cannot attack. So I have Laura standing right there, that is something I don't want to have actually. And then I'm gonna go right up in front of here with Sother and shove your back one. So now you can't be attacked, but software can be, and again, if there's something I don't care about, it's how much or how often software can be attacked or any of my other pre-evolved units, because quite frank, you can take that. So I'm gonna place you here, and then we are good. You're not gonna go in there too far, I don't want you to be a target. Let's see if my strategies, my strategizing worked out. So let's see, we need to get rid of the dude with the sword. But that can be Eliana's job. Because with Nolan and with Chill we won't have a good chance to attack him because he's gonna probably dodge them. A little poke here for our suffer, don't care that much. So. This is where they come down and even more come. Let me take a look. Let's deal the damage at least. Let's smack you in the forehead. So that we dealt some damage towards you. And I still cannot get away. That's not so good. That's not enough. That's still not enough. Let's hope for crit. 
Otherwise I can restart this already because that did not work out as I planned. Damn it. It's good, but that doesn't help me at all. You can go up there with Mikai and then... Hey. That's not gonna go well. That's gonna go horribly away. 15 damage from one attacker. Um, I think I goofed here a little bit. Defense, Mikaya. Please. Thank you. It's not gonna do me a lot of good, but... It will help. That's for sure. Got the steel sword, don't care. And then the hand axe, and please hit. Please hit. Thank you. Okay, so Chill is safe for the moment. Mikaya can only get attacked by one dude. So, I think that I could potentially survive this. I will get rid of that guy. Like this, let's shove you up there once. Let's go over there. It's always a mistake to have a flying unit next to someone who is an archer. If you have never played Fire Emblem, now you know why. It will only end badly. Okay, got rid of the Pegasus Knight. Can't really do much here. Other than place... Nobody can attack her if she's standing in there, except for the mage and I don't care about the mage because she has high resistance because she is a healer. So let's see, would need axe to get rid of. You don't have distant attacks, no. Okay, how am I gonna do this the stupid way? I need to be careful because I don't wanna draw them out. Let's see if that... That's not gonna help me too much. Let's use... That knot. I can attack you normal. Gonna take some damage too, but if I do that... Why can't you guys freaking hit him? I hate him. Okay, let's let's let this go this way and see what's gonna happen here this turn. Attacking chill. Ten damage? Eh, it's okay. Probably mostly an attack to her because of the advantage with the weapon he has. And not because he's that super fast guy. And you attack Nolan, wow. I really thought one of them would go for Mikaya, but I was wrong. Nice, you dodged him. You attack him twice. I really thought one of them would go for Mikaya, but I was wrong. And that is something I'm happy about. Good, good thing that your resistance is that high. That's really good. Gonna get attack by him as well? Yep, you're gonna. Ouch, that's a little bit more. You dodge! Oh yeah, Leonardo! You also gonna attack him? Nice, so I don't have to go away. Man, if you wouldn't have dodged all those attacks, I would be done for. I'm more lucky at the moment than I should be. So, now there are those guys up there. But... They don't really stand a chance. You have a javelin, you have a steel lance. But I can kill you. And... 
Now, let's think what I'm gonna do. Well, you don't have to think about it because I'm just gonna kill you. Because you don't have a chance to survive this at all. Goodbye. Perfect. Just chill for the Pegasus Knights as well. Or Pegasus Riders. I don't know what they are called. I think Knights. Yeah, Pegasus Knights. Just chill for them as well. It's really gonna come in handy. Goodbye, my friend. I'm gonna take your hammer now. Because it'll come in handy. So, thanks for the hammer. With the hammer now, we have an advantage over those guys. Um, let's see... That's more than enough, yes. And that's even the right one. So let's see... What we're gonna do next, because he's done for. I'm not gonna have to concern myself with that guy anymore. Whew. Things are going all over the place, but still working out for me. I'm actually kind of surprised that it's working out for me so well. So now we need to be careful because... Javelin, right here. I need to be careful with Laura. So let's go up there. Iron Bow, get rid of that Pegasus. Goodbye, my stupid friend. So good that he dodged all attacks. That really helped me out. So now I can go here with Edward. That would be quite some damage, but I think I can tangle with it. Especially since I can heal him afterwards. Slice you once. Ouch. And slice you twice. Okay. Good. Close to the level up. Level up. Iron sword broke. I really need to find. Uh, not to find to buy you another weapon. Let's place you. Wait. Let's place you right here. And Volok right here. And now Laura is safe. And with the javelin, I try to attack you again. Dealing some damage to you is important. And nice. Good, we hit him this time. Let's stick around up there and hope that nothing bad's gonna fall. Those guys, let them stand like this. You attack him again, I don't have any problems with that. 14 damage. If you can hit him. Leonardo is really dodgy right now. And you attack Mag. Totally honest, couldn't care less. Still gonna try to see Mag through to the end, but I couldn't care less because she is not that good of a unit. Hey, welcome back. Chill was awaiting you. Because Chill is gonna kill you. A little poke there. Sotha already got a lot of EXP just by standing around and get poked a lot. Good for him. Using them as meat shields is... a good strategy to build up their EXP a little bit and... to take some of the force away from your main characters at that point. Later on they will be just as useful as the rest of your units, but for the time being they're just Freaking eating up all of your XP. Also nice level up there, Edward. Sorry, I didn't acknowledge that. And also good on you that you got the resistance that you don't... Don't longer need anymore. So let's see, how much damage? One damage, one measly hit point. Oh, like I care. Smack. A little bit more crit rate would be nice though, so that we could potentially at least kill him with one hit. Nay. Nay, I say. No, that's still okay. You wait up here, because that's your place now. Now I can go down there with those guys, because they're standing around there. And they don't really do much for me. Um, so you, my friend, are a pain in my butt. 
Edward got his level up. Let's use you on them. Birds, you on them. Nice, you're gone. Not, not really a level up there, but whatever. Um, let me take a look. Okay, you're outside of there. Aaron, would you kindly thank you? Let's see. Again, I'm not gonna use Aaron that much. I'm gonna train him more than Mac, that is for sure, but he's not gonna be one of my main party at the end. Because there are so much better units than him. Edward, he will get better. He's also not the best unit though. But he also will improve over time. But he's, a, he's my first sword fighter that I got and therefore I need to train him up a lot because I need him. But he's not really dodgy. And I need them to be dodgy. So let's see. He still can't attack there. And if you come down here, I will smack your head in. Thoroughly. So let the rest stand around like this so that uh, Pegasus Knight doesn't get the chance to attack Laura. But attack Mag again. Still see if I care. Can take still one more hit from you. Why well, actually you hit Mag? Okay buddy. Now it's time for you to die. And then I'm gonna heal Chill. Because I'm gonna use Chill earlier than Mag again. So, got rid of that Pegasus Knight. That Pegasus Annoyance. And goodbye. Uh, you can go a little bit further in front. Heal you up. I don't need to use Mend at the moment. I just wanted to have it since it was something for sale at the moment. But if I use Mend I get more EXP so that is actually of interest. You have a Javelin. Can they rest? No, if you are here they can't. Okay, you go in there, use your Iron Lance because then you can deal more damage because Lance against Sword is effective and none of the others can attack him. I need Nolan then up front here for what we're gonna do next because Nolan's gonna go inside of the bush with a hand axe, draw those two guys out. So I think nothing should come from the back anymore and if, let's pull you a little bit further here. And lock off those attack points from Laura. So, and other than that, I did not want to do that. I think I'm fine. So let's see how that's gonna go out. Yeah, 100% hit chance. Even though we have the advantage. Interesting. See, that's what I mean. He has the advantage and still not that. So, can you? You can't. I also don't want to have you stand around in there. Just like I want you in there. Kind of a shame. I can't make it down there all the way. Someone has a... Ch they both have javelin again, so... Why not do this? Try to attack at least, it doesn't hurt anything or anyone. Yeah. For a second I thought we hit. Whatever. I actually more so took those things because I wanna have the attack range. So you are gonna go back here. And now Edward is in the attack range as well. Don't know if I want to have Edward in there as well. Hmm. 
Let's pull you back here, not rescue. Switch over to that. And then I'm gonna pull Ileana up there. And gonna heal you. Lots of just shoving units around here, but I wanna be safe here at all times because I'm not really the biggest fan of this map situation. So I think I can can let it stay like this. Good, you're attacking him. That's actually even better because I was worried that you would attack Chill as well, but you didn't. And therefore I'm happy. So let's see, they are going to attack Chill since they don't have anyone else in their range. And one of them at least is going to die. If she's not attacking twice, but I don't think she will. Yeah. Well, whatever, one of them is going to die and it's going to be on my, my turn it seems like. But one of them is going to die. Unless you attack twice. Nah, only once. Whatever. If you get speed, maybe then we could attack twice. I mean, it doesn't matter anymore. No speed, but skill. And resistance went up. That's nice. And you're also gonna go up there. That's okay. So then I'm gonna go ahead. And... Gonna get rid of you because you're closer to the overall unit display. To my formation, that is what I meant. And then I'm gonna get rid of. Oh, I can move one more uh, space here. So, taking even more space. So, um, let's see really quick. If I go in there, then you're right in the middle. So let's do that. You could kill him. But I'm only gonna use the iron bow. And gonna take a look who is closer to the level up. Mikaya or Ileana. And one of them is gonna get those EXP because I didn't use them so much. 30, uh, 53. But you're level 11, you're level 16. But you're not gonna evolve for a long time, so... Let's, let's use Ileana. Seems to be the smarter decision to do. It's also funny that Ileana uh, evolved back since she was actually... Should actually be a pre-evolved unit, if you are totally honest here. Let's place you in here. And we haven't talked about those bushes before, but those are healing bushes that... Oh, heal hatches. This is a heal hatch that Nolan stands in right now. And it heals, I think, 5 HP uh, every turn that the unit stands inside of the hatch. Gonna see it once my turn starts. So, that's why I gave him the hand axe to counteract your attack. It won't even hit. And if it would have hit, boy! I would have looked stupid. And one more time. Nice. Good. You douche. If I fly down there, I will have that steel sword douchebag attack chill. Let me take a quick look on if that is even a viable option. 10 damage. Yeah, whatever. Wait, even 10 damage if I attack with the... Yeah. The, what I actually wanted to know is if he still attacks only once and not twice then. Because then it would be a little bit more concerning. But that way, whatever. I can deal with that. I can tangle with him. Nice. Good, and then I'm gonna move. Oh, two spaces actually. So. 
no way in hell that I'm gonna go over there. Maybe if I get rid of that dude first. Yeah. Or, yeah, you. Because you're close to the level up. Let's get rid of him. Let's do that. Eliminate, get the level up. Yeah, cancel. That's also helpful here. Get the level up, please. Please have something good. And skill, speed and luck. Your defense needs a little bit of polishing again. But other than that, nice. So, if I place Nolan here, he can be attacked by El Thunder. And that's not so much something I actually care about. Especially since his resistance isn't the best. Hammer. Ah, uh, it would be amazing, but I won't ever hit him. He's gonna move forward. Wait, how far can you move? I don't want to place Ikai in there. I could have used Sacrifice there. Why would I, is the question. But I could. Aaron, try to stay safe. Call my name if you need, my, need me. To tell the truth, there are a million places that I'd rather be. But I guess I don't really have a choice. And now you get healed. And then I can make this conversation the other way around as well. Laura, watch out for these slippery brutes. I'm here if you need me. Good to see you. May the goddess bless us and keep us safe. And that's about it. Let's see if I can shove Iliana down there. Let's see if I can do that. Yep, I can. And then we can converse with Mikaya. You're alright? I don't know how you could be. Uh, under these famine conditions. Oh, hello, it's good to see you're still alive. And that was their conversation. Well, Eliana always talks about food. If you don't remember that from the first game, then look back at the first game. She also only talks about food in the first one. Stop! Why do you attack him? He hasn't done anything towards you. Douchebag! Back! Okay. That may or may not be in my best interest right here. Let's see. Two times Nan. Nine. But Nan. Uh, gonna deal a little bit of damage with you. Not too much. Wanna train other units as well. I don't know. One of you close to a level up. You are actually close to a level up. So let's do that. Get your support. Get your support up. That was a miss. Two misses? With 81? Are you serious? What? Douche! The fuck? That's not okay! Fuck you! Seriously, two misses with 81? Of all the things that ever happened to me during Fire Emblem sessions, that is something that never happened. That is something that I never had problems with. Hitting a, an, an enemy with 81 was never something that failed. Well, that was odd to say at least. Uh, wait, can you go down there? I need to have you active a little bit here so that I don't accidentally run into your range. Let's have you there. Play soft over here. And Meg, you just stand around and look stupid. Do pair. Go in here with you and you just stand around. Let's see. 
you're gonna attack Mikaya. I don't care about that too much since, since she is a mage. She's gonna stay strong. I'll take a little bit of damage to this, but still. Boom! Only attacking once. That's okay. And the archer also moves. Can I get to him? Yes, I can. Can I kill him? No, I can't. It's now the question what to do with the archer. Let's get rid of you first. And then we think about the archer. Even though that seems to be a good option. Okay, archer. Archer is pretty obvious that he can go this way. So let's go over here with you. Let's switch out your item for the steel axe since it's not my thing. Edward, how are, you th are things holding up on your end? Call if you need anything. Hi there, it's good to see you're still fighting. Got, got that conversation out of the way. I'm gonna heal Mikaya. Heal a lot. If you wanna have your healer strong, heal a lot. Nice. And you are now level 7. They take so long. But you have nice resistance, so magic doesn't do anything towards you anymore. I'm gonna just stick around here. You can't converse anymore, no. You guys are also able to converse a little bit more. Um, whatever. I'm gonna place you down here. And gonna do that. Just that it did something. And that was pretty obvious that it is going to attack Edward here. Good, not a lot of chance to hit. Still hit him. Edward! Okay. That's good, that's always nice. So, now let's... How far can they, they move? Okay, they can't move into the mage that much. Okay, he has thunder. Could kill him, but still, too much damage for chill. Let's go over there. Chill, you get to deal some damage. So please, ram your axe inside the skull. Then I'm gonna go, oh, you can stay there. I'm gonna go and heal Edward up. And now, 65, 45. In that case, it's also a lot of damage. You can't move, can you? Okay, you can probably move, but you won't. You won't reach, so I should be fine. Should be, not am. Should be. Ouch. Whatever. Still 16 health, and they can go and rescue with Nolan if something should change, but it didn't. I said, Idiana. Goodbye. Wait, it's 81 again. And... I fucking don't get it! For fuck's sake, what? Why? If that misses, I'm gonna go berserk next round. Fuck you. So, um... As it stands, I'm gonna stay around here with Leonardo. Because there's something going to happen in here for 
in the next moments that I want to have Leonardo be part of. Fucking hell. A fucking day move? Okay. Wind Edge or Hand Axe? Or will he move first with a fucking killing edge? Okay, over there are spaces that they can move that he can't. So to draw him them out, it's my main trust to do something along those lines. And draw them down here and not have a fucking killing edge dude come down here. Okay, so he can and he can as well. Both can. He's the only one that can't attack us here. So we need our mages because if there's someone with a killing edge, how about we try to have that dude be. Um, of interest for us. Let's shove you all over there. Okay. Edward can stand right there. Good, you attack first. Let's see where this is gonna go. Seven damage, if he can hit. He could hit. Good, six damage from me and another six. Good. Can kill you in the next turn with Nolan, that's a little bit of a shame. Okay. Even less hitting chance this time, but this time we dodged. And you will be dead in the next turn, so that's good. So I only need to get rid of the Wind Edge guy. See, that is why I wanted to have Leonardo right here, because those guys will come down there and swoop in. Problem is Nolan here at the moment. What? Basically ever. Yeah, let's do that. Get rid of the hand axe, dude. And see, because I'm pretty sure they wouldn't attack Nolan if there are other units that don't have any weapons. I hope they are smart enough to do something like this, especially with the disadvantage. Okay, let's see. That's not gonna help me a lot. That's also not gonna help me a lot. Frick. Wait. Can you shove, Edward? Okay. That's kinda gonna work. Let's see. Critical! Good. That's hurting. Why do you hit with only so little chance? Am I missing something here? You know what? Fuck you! Seriously! What the crap? Why is the dude hitting with n basically no chance? No, I need you right here to shove Mikaya out of the way. Don't wanna have Mikaya standing in there and take that hit. Can they attack? Okay, Nolan can be attacked. That's okay. We can take it. Let's see where this is gonna go. 
freaking hell, seriously. Not even funny. Okay, the jokes are falling really flat right now. That's not... That's not cool. I miss with 81, they hit with 29 and lower? I mean, that's 39. I mean, the other dude had 29 or something like this. Seriously? See, Ark, you could dodge. I know that you're a good dodger. Normally you are. There you go. And there we go with training the units that don't need to be trained. Because they are far too strong to be trained at the moment. But I can do this. And therefore train Leonardo. And basically this is something we should not have to show at all. But we get a good use out of his iron bow this way. Goodbye. And Risk can just stand around like this. Um. Let's do that. Kill you. <sighs> God. Get rid of you. Freaking asshole. I'm a little bit annoyed by this map so far. Now I need to find a way to get up to him, deal the damage and not die. Because again, killing edge. Killing edge is not the fun thing. As I can show you right here, I'm not gonna attack with you because obvious reasons. But 27 crit chances, not that funny to deal with. So. Mech, get out of there. For some odd reason they love to attack you. I'm not concerned about you. So I need to get up there with my mages basically first. Deal some damage with those two. Probably need to shove them up and then finish up with someone who can hit. And that's the problem right here. Who could hit? If my matches don't kill them actually, which I kinda hope they will do. Don't fucking... Uh. Are you flying up there as well? A bunch of a-holes. Let's... Let's go down there. Transport all this further down. Siak, you go in the healing bush. And this is probably going to be a turn well wasted. Because I don't want them to attack uh, one of the two mages. Whoa, I wanted to do this. Yeah, I need to shove both of them once. And after he is gone, I. Maybe can't deal with them. Let's go up. Well, being here is as good as it's gonna get. One turn well wasted, as I said. Uh, oh, you don't come all the way down there. What are you, scared? Well, the S is the answer, they are scared. But well, we can do this. And actually I don't need to care about that too much because you can take one hit from them, no problem. Goodbye, douche. And I think now the interest is high enough for them to go and attack Leonardo and don't go for anything that's going on over there. So let's shove you and let's shove you. Oh boy. If I do this... 17, 15. 
14, 19. Okay, they have the chance. Let's do that. Because you have an advantage with your lands anyway. Let's go over here. Where am I gonna get give the XP to? Both of them are rather close. Let's give it to Mikaya. So that she can potentially grow stronger. Even though she's not gonna evolve when she hits level 20, still better that way. <sighs> okay, I hate killing edge dudes, I tell it to you, they are the worst. They are just annoying, they take so much concentration to get rid of. All kind of killing weapons are annoying because they deal so much damage. Nice, got the level up. Wow! Thanks for that, Mikhail. And now... Chill. Please deal some damage to him. Good. Also good. Still could attack one of those, but I'm not too worried about that. Is what I say, not what I feel. But he's gonna die now. Yeah, only 14. I was like, please don't kill him once, Dwayne. Good. He still lives, so I can give the one EXP actually to chill. Wait. He's gonna get healed. Probably. And God boy Leonardo is dodging like a pro. I cannot attack him now. Fuck you. Oh that's not good, is it? Not so far. Wait, no, you go all the way back down there. Don't wanna have you Anywhere near that, the dance. Let's lose. Let's use Al Thunder because of that. Boom, douche. Got the level up as well. Level 17. Eliana is getting closer and closer to evolving or class changing. That actually is not evolving. Playing a little bit too much Pokemon lately. Steel Lands, because that's something that Eliana can use. Nice thing is, your healers can attack back with their staffs. Bad thing is, most of the time they don't deal damage. But the thought is what counts. Weapon level up. Let's wait. I want to have this thing 100% be for you. I think here, yeah, yeah. Because then, little Pegasus scaredy cat can't fly back up there. Because I used up all of your moves. And then I will kill you. It hurt me a lot. What are you gonna do? Running away. Yeah, whatever. Chill, finish it off. You seem to have the need for the XP. Because you can get a level up. Maybe not out of him, but in general. Good. Uh, just stand where you are. And you. Die where you are, please. Goodbye. It was nice to have you around, scaredy cat. And good night. Perfect. Oh. Fall down together. Okay. So, after this battle, it just jumps into the save screen. That is because it's a two part uh, mission and we just dealt with the first part. 
So I'm gonna leave this episode right here and next episode we're gonna jump back in there and finish off Raise the Standard. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to see you to the next part. So bye!